Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you what I think is the best amp shield in the game. Better than the 0.M, better than the rerouter. This is a purple amp shield called the one shotter shield. It's basically just a purple shield with amp rolled three times. Um, Glyce in my Discord sent this one to me. He's been playing with it for a little bit and he told me about it and it's definitely lives up to the hype. Um, now this shield on face value does not seem better than the legendary counterparts, but there's actually one important reason and feature, I guess you could call it. It's kind of a hidden um, mechanic of it that makes this way more powerful than the legendary counterparts in my opinion. So let's get straight into it. Like I said, there's actually kind of a secret effect that I'm going to reveal to you guys in a moment. But first, I want to talk about these stats on the cards. I feel like we should compare that as well, just so you guys know stat-wise uh, where this falls compared to the legendary counterparts. Overall, the purple amp shield is going to have lower recharge delays and a faster recharge rate on top of a lower capacity, and it also drains less shields. What this means is this purple amp shield will consistently charge faster than the 0.M. You will end up getting more amps out of it. It's kind of like having a faster reload speed and a faster fire rate. Um, you'll basically kind of get more DPS out of this shield compared to the 0.M. Um, but like I said, that's not why I think this shield is better. Now, real quick, before I tell you guys why, I do also want to mention that the 0.M does have about a 125% amp bonus. So technically, this will be a stronger amp shield in specific scenarios, um, and that's what I'm going to explain to you. So with those quick numbers out of the way and that quick comparison, let's talk about why this purple shield is actually better than the 0.M. If you're using any sort of multi-pellet weapon, the 0.M does not fully amp it. But what do I mean when I say that? Well, let's go over to the test dummy and show myself shooting a shotgun at it while wearing the 0.M. So a brainstormer on the test dummy amped by the 0.M shoots for about 5,600 damage. And when our shield is slightly depleted and we have no amp anymore, now we're only shooting for 5,000 damage. Now, this is clearly not getting amped by 125% because it would more than double the total damage. Now, you guys can try this with the rerouter if you'd like, um, but I've been told it does the same as the 0.M. It doesn't actually amp the full shot of the uh, multi-pellet shotgun. So what's happening here is it's actually just amping one or some of the pellets. Um, I'm not exactly sure how much, but it's obviously not amping the entire shot. Now, this is gonna go for like any multi-pellet weapon at all. And basically what this means is neither of the legendary amp shields work with multi-pellet weapons. And that's where the one-shotter shield comes in. When we put this on and we shoot with the Brainstormer again, you guys can clearly see in the clip, we are going from 5K to 10K, meaning that the one-shotter shield correctly amps multi-pellet weapons. It's actually amping all of the pellets that you're shooting. So what this basically means is the more pellets your gun has, the better the one-shot shield becomes in comparison to the legendary shields. Now, I know how I just phrased that might seem a bit deceiving, so I actually want to show you guys a test using a gun with only two pellets. So this is, so this is just to prove any time you have a single pellet weapon, then the 0.M or the rerouter technically will amp it for more than the one-shotter shield, but I'm gonna show you guys, even with just two pellets, the one-shotter shield is gonna amp for more damage overall between both the pellets. So I'm gonna be testing with the King's Call, but I will have playing Dirty active. So this is a single pellet weapon and we're adding a second pellet to it with playing Dirty. Let's just see the damage difference between the one-shotter shield and the 0.M. Now I'm gonna be standing completely still, um, but I will have some kill skills active uh, because I am wearing the C and Dead class mod. It just automatically activates our kill skills, but that's fine. We're going to have the same amount of kill skills. We're going to have playing dirty active in both tests. So when we shoot the dummy with the purple one shotter shield, we've got about 29k damage. Now let's swap over to the clip with the 0.M shield and we get 23k damage. So basically, as you guys can see, even when the weapon only has two pellets, 
um, the one shotter shield is gonna be better. It's it's an overall better amp. Now another thing is if we're moving with violent momentum, or if we add even more gun damage, the the difference will be much larger. So because the 0.M only amps one out of the two pellets from the King's Call, when you boost your damage like super high, like, you know, like when you're using different weapons, the whole nine, when you boost your damage, the amount of damage difference and like the more damage you get from this one shotter shield, because it actually amps all of the pellets is going to be huge. Um, it's, it's literally just a, a much bigger difference and it makes this shield way better because not only is there more uh, multi-pellet weapons in the game for the most part, I would say, that a lot of people use, there's even multiple skills from Vault Hunters like Zane and Flak that add pellets to your weapon. Um, there's also like the Terror Extra Projectile Anointment. Um, I'm not sure if there's more multi-pellet effects or skills besides that, but there's just like, you know, who doesn't use a Brainstormer or a Stagecoach or just any sort of multi-pellet weapon? Um, and if you want to use an Amp Shield, it's not really going to work out for those weapons unless you're using the One-Shotter Shield. Now, another thing I do want to mention and bring up again is the stats on these cards. Um, I talked about a bit earlier that the One-Shotter Shield has a much lower delay, it has a much bigger rate, and it has a lower capacity, and it only drains you for 20%. So the fact that it basically drains for 1,000 out of 5,000 shield per shot, the delay is 2 seconds, and then we have a rate larger than 1,000, that means that you're going to be amping a shot about every 3 seconds, as long as you don't take damage, a little bit less than that even. Whereas the 0.M takes a couple extra seconds to charge, the 0.M also has a huge capacity, meaning that if you did take damage, it's going to take much longer to fully charge from zero. Whereas the one-shotter shield, even if you take damage, it's a two-second delay and then 1600 rate. It's only going to take about five seconds total for this to recharge from zero. Um, and this also just has synergy with skills that require full shields, like topped off in the Guardian rank. Um, and there's more skills in Vault Hunter Trees like that. So yeah. Anyways guys, that's pretty much going to be it for the video. Be on the lookout for this shield. Um, it's just a world drop, unfortunately, so you're going to have to search vending machines um, or just look out for it while you're farming. It is, it's a pretty rare drop. It is triple amp, all rolled into one shield. But um, if you guys keep your eyes open, you're going to be able to find this. Um, if we find enough good purple gear soon, we're going to have full purple loadouts that are even better than some legendary loadouts that you could have. It's definitely possible. I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. I might have to come up with a purple items only build in the future. So hopefully we can find some more and review some more soon. So if you liked the video or found anything informative, then go ahead and please drop a like for me. Every like helps out the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And big shout out and thanks to my channel members. Real quick as always, I got to thank them every chance I get. But that's going to be it for me, guys. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out. You have been identified as a narcissist. Come closer, will you?
Take down!